finally, I wanted to talk about molecules with expanded octets. What I mean by this are molecules where the central atom has more than eight electrons. associated with it. Now you sometimes see this with elements in period three and lower, and sulfur and phosphorus are likely culprits to do this. Although, again, anything in group three, or, or not group three, period three, period three, can do this. One of the explanations for this is that these central atoms may be using their empty d orbitals in bonding, and that's the only explanation you need to know in AP Chem. All right. In these cases, where if you end up where you're drawing a Lewis structure and it turns out that you have extra electrons left over when you've bonded everything in a way that seems logical to you, the extra electrons would go onto your central atom. Let's go and just draw a few pictures of this. For example, SF4, which is highly toxic. All right. Let's go ahead and draw this. Now for sulfur, we know it has six valence electrons, and we have four fluorines, each at seven. So 28 plus six is 34 electrons. So let's go ahead and draw this structure. We'll draw our skeleton here, and we'll put in our bond. So two, four, six, eight. Let's satisfy all those fluorines. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. We've satisfied everyone out of cats, but we've only placed 32 electrons. The last two electrons are going to go on our sulfur. All right, let's look at XeF2. Now, xenon, of course, is a noble gas, has eight valence electrons. And we have seven from each of the two fluorines. So 14 plus 8 would be 22 electrons. All right. On in the center, because it's certainly not going to be the fluorines here. We'll put in our bonds, 2, 4. We'll go to our lone pairs electrons, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, all right, I've satisfied the octets for the fluorines, but I still have six electrons left to go, and they are going to go on that central xenon atom. It's always good to count and double check and make sure you put them all in there. All right, let's look at ICL4 minus. So this is a polyatomic ion. Put the iodine in the center. We'll put the four chlorines outside. All right, so. We have five halogens here, all right, and then we have an additional electron with that minus one charge, which gives us a total of 36 electrons. So I'll start by putting in my bonds, which will account for eight electrons. Then I will put in my lone pairs. So I'm just going to count as I do this so I keep track. Uh, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. So I've placed 32 electrons and I've satisfied all my octet rules, but I still have four electrons left to place. Those electrons go on the central iodine. And remember, since this is a polyatomic ion, we're going to write it in square brackets with that minus one charge outside. All right. Our last molecule is ClF3. I'm going to put the chlorine in the middle and the fluorines on the outside. Again, I'll start with single bonds everywhere. All right, two, four, six electrons are put in there. And I have 28 electrons total to play with because I have four halogen atoms. So let's finish off the fluorines. All right, so two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Oh, well, I've satisfied all my octets. Oh, no, not chlorine. 
All right, now I've satisfied all my octets, but that's only 26 electrons, and that last lone pair also goes on the chlorine atom.